Hello and welcome to Adventure Me. And today we're down here on the banks of the River Eyre, right in the city centre of Leeds. And we've got the Leeds station just behind us over there. Now we're here to discuss a rumour or a myth that Leeds station is actually built on two levels. A lot of people are saying that there is another station right underneath Leeds station with platforms and shops and factories all underneath that structure there. Now I'm also down here today to meet Richard Stead from BBC Radio Leeds Breakfast Show and he asked me the question when we came down. Now I'm not going to tell you what answer that I gave him but what I am going to do is spend a few minutes talking about Leeds Station and I'm going to let you decide for yourselves whether it's true or not and I'll give you my conclusion at the end of this video. So let's start with a small bit of history about Leeds Station. So currently we're looking at Leeds Station which is just behind over there and as you can see here we have the River Eyre which disappears underneath the station just in front there but we'll talk about that very shortly. Right on this site here where the old brick wall is is what used to be the original Leeds Station or as it was called then Wellington Station. Now just behind us over that way is what was known as Leeds Central Station and that was the original station for Leeds back in the 1850s but what they did was just on the banks over here they built a brand new station to compete with that one but what they built was a, a temporary station when I say temporary it was probably a little bit lower than the one that's there now only a few years later probably five or six years later in the 1850s they opened an actual proper Wellington station. So what they did was they built the stone walls and proper platforms going in and also archways over the river air. So the original Wellington station would have been right where that car park building is there. And you can see the beautiful stonework there. And what you're looking at here is the river air as it would have continued in a straight line but now disappears down a weir down there under these multiple arches here and it goes underneath the station and curves to the right to join the River Air further down the other side which I'll show you very shortly. So here's a better view from above as you can see the tunnels there with the river heading off underneath the station. But there are rumours that the river even after the station was built continued ahead there into what was known as Kings Mill Goit. So when the new Wellington station opened which was in 1850 it was then joined alongside by another station just to the right of it over there which was known as Leeds New Station. That station opened in 1869 and it was a joint enterprise by the London and North Western Railway and the North Eastern Railway companies. clearly see where the station passes from the old station to the new station. So at this point you would have had two stations right next to each other. We had Leeds New Station which was the far side and the Wellington Station which was just behind there. Now that would have been rather pointless to have two stations right next to each other although they do in London. But well, what they did was they combined them in 1938 and it became Leeds Central Station which is what we have today, it's what you see right now. Now Leeds Central Station went through a massive refurbishment in the 1960s and they remodelled a lot of the station and they actually took away some of the old uh, Wellington Station and moved it more over to the new one. Now the old Wellington Station concourse which we just saw in that clip there when I walked through still remains today and it's still in use but the actual platforms and everything at the back of it have now gone and it's now a car park. Also back in 1938 when they combined both stations they also built the famous Queen's Hotel that's still here today as well as you can see behind me there. So that opened in the same year. So we're making our way now to what is known as Granary Wharf or the Dark Arches as they call them around here. Now this is a road that runs underneath Leeds Station and it runs from east to west, not through the middle like Neville Street does. So 
you can just see Neville Street ahead which runs underneath the station but there's a road just up there on the left that heads this way now back in the day under these arches would have been open in the Victorian period and apparently there was a lot of bad things happening underneath the marches back in the day so knocking shops galore I would have thought so the public were no longer allowed to access these tunnels until in the 90s when they reopened a section under here so what we're going to do now is take a detour through there and I'm going to show you what remains of Granary Wharf and also when we're in there you'll see the, the river air running underneath the station making our way up through Granary Wharf and as you can hear you can hear flowing water I'm just going to show you up there so these are the dark arches as they're known so this is the river air coming from the other side of the station and all the way through the middle here so you've got the new station bricks arches just here and then in the distance I don't know if you can see but it changes to stone that would have been the original Wellington station so you can see how it was built in two sections just to our left here now you've got the brand new entrance into the station Today a lot of this has been used for parking now so this is under the original arches and there used to be a lot of restaurants and bars down here they all seem to have moved outside now so here you are you can see the brand new Leeds station entrance there which is built right on top of the river air so those five arches that we saw at the start of the river air are condensed down into three well technically three and a half this is where the river air exits the other side of the station like I say the red brickwork there for the arches that is the modern face that you're seeing there is a second face further in and then there's the original stone face which would have been Wellington station and then it exits underneath this beautiful bridge and off that way just on the right there you've got the Leeds Liverpool Canal lock which just exits around there and then the river bends left just away from the station platforms here you can see one of the original canal basins here now I'm going to show you a canal basin just up there which is a bit more interesting than this one but back in the day these would have come in here and probably gone under the arches there was various mills and complexes underneath these arches many years ago now there's a nice lock gate there and it's just a lovely basin to moor up stood on the banks of the Leeds Liverpool Canal in Granary Wharf and we're heading just round the corner here on this beautiful day into what is known or was known as Monk's Basin now this one is a little different to the other one and I'll explain why when we get round there so here we are at Monk's Basin so this basin would have extended through those arches there that you can see that are bricked up now all the way through and as it got to the other side where the old Wellington station was it narrowed down and there was a lock underneath Wellington station so what I'm going to do now is just take you around the other side of the station and show you if I can where it exits on the other side and joins the River Eyre so we just made our way back round to the banks of the River Eyre on the other side of the old Wellington station here if you just look in them trees there I don't know how clear it's going to be with it being so hazy today but there is the tunnel exit for the canal basin right there I'm going to try zoom in for you 
but if not I'm going to put a picture on the screen now so you can see that. That's where the basin would have gone underneath the station and when it met the old Wellington Street station which is here it would have then entered a lock and gone up this lock to bring it up to river level which is right here so the lock would have been inside that tunnel right there and again I'm going to show you another picture now which was taken inside there and as you can see the lock has been filled in now now that lock was known as Monk Pit Lock and that was the Monk Pit Basin just down there okay so I'm just going to tell you a quick story about a fire that happened in 1892 now under those four brick arches that I showed you where the canal went underneath the Leeds News Station site back in 1892 there used to be a mill under there that made soap and it burst into flames they had a fire and it was underneath the Wellington Station site and it caused the platforms above the Wellington Station to collapse down but also because the ground gave way it caused the trains to slope down into the hull and all the trains went down and burnt underground as well now I'm told if you would go under there now where the original canal tunnel is you can still see the scorch marks on the roof and the soot marks because it was right underneath where the lock was there was a basin underneath there and that's where the mill would have been so like I said I brought Richard Stead from BBC Radio Leeds down here this morning and he asked me the question he said apparently there was a station underneath Leeds station with platforms and everything is that true and my answer to Richard was I don't think it is I don't think it is true and that's my conclusion for today's video so we've taken a look around the whole site under the arches of the station and my conclusion is that no station existed underneath the current one but underneath these arches you had mills and factories and canal basins and locks and a small city really so that's maybe what they're confusing it with maybe they're thinking that all those things meant that there was a station underneath but there wasn't all it was was the underground void underneath the station that was built over the river and all the businesses that flourished inside just like today as you can see behind me lots of bars restaurants and businesses but is it a city underneath the station mm, probably not definitely no station underneath there as far as I'm aware now I want to know what you guys think did it have a station underneath is there anything else that I've missed in this video that you'd like to tell me about if so please put it down in the comments below but I hope you enjoyed our little look there at Leeds station and the original station as well but thank you very much for joining me here if you've enjoyed the video please subscribe to the channel like the video and any comments down below but from me I'll see you very soon bye thank you for watching Please subscribe to the channel for free by clicking the logo here and click subscribe. Like the video and put any comments you have down below. If you would like to support the channel or would like to make a donation, there are links in the description below. And finally, a big thank you to our existing supporters of the channel. See you on the next adventure.